Hello, friends. It's a lot of echo. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Speedball Mike Bailey here with Aussie Open. Mark Davis. That's him. Kyle Fletcher. That's me. That's that one. Hello. So we've got a little Q and A. Ask for some questions. You guys send it in. We are in an abandoned pool. Yes. That in York Hall. Literally, no one knew existed before today. We literally just walked into like the bathroom, and then people like found these doors, and they're like. What's in here? And it was just a massive abandoned aquatic center. And you guys have wrestled in York Hall, like... Oh, yeah. a lot of time. The first time was January 2018, so it's like at least like a good like nearly four years now. Wow. At the end of 2021. So. It's a fair assumption that the pool was for water at one point. Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of bangs. Yeah, I think so. Uh, first question that isn't on here, but begs to be asked, what happened to your face? <laughs> <laughs> this one? That one, yeah. Yeah. That face. Michael Oku happened. Mm. Yeah, look forward to that today, yeah. by the way. Um, yeah, your opponent this evening. What was it exactly so I can just watch out for it? Make sure top rope missile drop kick. Top rope missile drop kick. If he drop comes kick. for you with one of those, just step out of the way. That's yeah, the best okay. advice for you. So most likely by the time this airs, I'll have avoided this missile drop kick, kicked him in the head, and then did, did some the, sort of cool Won the cruiserweight belt. Yeah, right? Yeah, That's yeah. it. You're welcome. Uh, that'll be my, my strategist. Title. Yeah. Okay, shall we get to those questions? Okay. So, um, first question. Ronald Muhammad from Twitter. These are all from Twitter, that's all I got. Asks, what's the most appropriate time for a shoot? It's going to be like a celebration, yeah, like a right? Victory. Yeah, you've, you've just won like a championship or you've won like a sporting event, yeah. like a big race or let's, like some shit. Let's say, if for a hypothetical this evening, there was a gentleman in a cruiserweight championship match that happened to wear shoes when he wrestled. Yeah. If he was to win that championship this evening, it would be a good time to have a shoe afterwards. If he wore shoes, that's all I'm saying. If he was to wear shoes while he wrestled. Right. After he won a championship, he what, could have a shoe. What is the last shoe you guys did? Oh, I don't think I've actually ever done a legit shoe. What? Yeah. Kyle? Mm. What? Yeah. Maybe like drunk with friends, but... Not for like celebrating a victory. So next, time, get, next time we win a championship. We'll yeah, because you, you guys win a lot of tag championships. Yeah. You do win a few. Yeah. And you never do shoeies afterwards. <laughs> nah. Not and you both wear shoes. We do. Yeah. Yeah. We do wrestling. Yeah, Correct. we do. Carl's wearing his right now, actually. Yeah. So. It's pretty dusty. Yeah. Because we're in a dusty room. Abandoned. Can you do a shoey in a dust shoe? Is that I okay? really don't want to, to be honest. I've got dregs of a water bottle. I'd prefer not to. to what is the classic alcohol for a shoey? Beer. Beer? Is it it's only beer? Be beer? You yeah. can't do it like a whiskey I mean, shoe? Or... You can do it whatever you want, you know. You can make a porn star martini <laughs> and a <laughs> pair of Vans Old School size 11 if you really want to. It's but... just not really a shoe anymore, then. It's just like a, it's a something else. It's like a shoe tail. It's a little bit, yeah, it's, it's like a little a... bit too far, isn't it? I feel like I'd want something strong to like clear out the bacteria <laughs> from my shoe. It's <laughs> just pure vodka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay, uh, next question. Gav Richardson. Gavlar from Twitter also asks, when playing heel, do any of you get offended when the fans cheer for you even though they should boo? Nah. Nah, right? Nah, people nah. can say I, and do what they want, really. Yeah. Within <laughs> reason. Yeah, right? Like, say, within, you, uh, verbally, sure. You're there to watch a show, right? Like, you're allowed to do whatever it is that, like, within the confines of the rules. Right? Like, there, there's things that are outright hateful that you shouldn't say. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, like, it's... Everyone's that out If you pay for a ticket, you can boo or cheer who you want, honestly. I, I don't think... I think it's a little bit silly to get upset about such things. So, yeah. And, like, I feel like I'm responsible for the crowd reaction when I wrestle. Sure. So if they should be cheering for me and they're booing yeah, me, like, then that's on me for... You yeah, know. that's your fault, people. Right? Sometimes you're just too lovable. People don't want to boo. What can you do, huh? What's what that, can you do? It's that funky thing, so. That's I hate the that wrong song. Words. I want another theme song. I don't funk like it. Funk monkey? What's funk, funk, funk monkey? Funk monkey? Yeah. I, got, going? I like funk monkey. Funk monkey is good. Okay. Uh, so question number three from Scott Rand, which is the big question that everyone is dying to know. Uh, when will you be invading Japan? And I don't know why he uses the word invading. <laughs> it sounds kind of offensive. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna borrow that DX tank. <laughs> yeah. Tag team division in New Japan needs some new blood. Crowns up, he says. Crowns up for the boys. Crown, crown, yeah. Crowns up. Like this? 
like this. It's like similar. double rock ons. Okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha. The crowns are for the boys. No, you don't cross the fingers. Do you put it here? No, no, your fingers don't touch. They oh, cross. Oh, sorry. They cross. Oh, okay. Yeah, cross. You, you guys great. have this down to science. 100%, man. I'm gonna. That's good because I'm able to clip that as a thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, just yeah, take a selfie after, but, but that's, that's actually a very good question, though. Um, we'll see. Mm. It's just you know the world's still kind of fucked. Yeah. Am I allowed to swear on this? I don't yeah, know if I have yet, but yeah, yeah, yeah. the world's still kind of fucked. So um. Yeah, I don't. Think, we've never really spoke too candidly about it, but it's yeah. honestly just a visa situation thing, isn't yeah. it? Like, but it, <laughs> it it is for most people, and like I mean that's been fairly discussed when. You know, comes to Japan recently. Yeah, but yeah. the situation with that is, is quite yeah. public. So, but so you guys obviously have had your eyes on on New Japan for a very long time. Oh yeah, it's something that's yeah, it's been a long, long time, time coming. Time. And when it finally does, I'm sure we'll uh, we'll chuck a shoey to celebrate. <laughs> you yeah. better, honestly. I mean, we've said it on the internet now, so it's like it's official. It has, it has to happen. Um, okay. Uh, Robert Puccino asks. This is a very specific one. You don't have to. You don't actually don't have to. This is one of my trainees from Australia. Right. Okay. Not read really it. So. so shout out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can shout out Robert Puccino. Shout out Robert Puccino. Puccin, the man. Hey, Puccin. Have any of you guys my heard any cool Jetty-related stories recently? Mm. Have you, Davis? Because I certainly have. So. <laughs> There has to be one, right? If this question gets asked, then there must be one Jetty story. I think so. So, yeah, like I said, do you, do you just want, like, the actual backstory behind this? Go, do it. Yeah, sure. So, Robert <laughs> is one of my trainees from Queensland, Australia. Robbie! Robbo! It's Robbo, because it's Australian, right? That's it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big Rob dogs. Um, shout out, Perry Puccini. Um, never mind. Uh, one, of our, one of our colleagues one evening came in to tell us about a successful date that he'd had. And he still lives with his family, mm -hmm. um, so. That's nice, so she got to meet the family. And that's it, but then he was like, oh, maybe we should do the deed. Maybe we should do the horizontal monster mash. But he had a house full of human beings. But where he lived, fortunately, I think he lived like on a little bit of like acres or whatever, but there's like a, a, a lake, like a, the Brisbane River, and then there's a, a jetty, like a pontoon. Sure. Uh, so um, I, I first <laughs> no idea what a jetty is. By oh, way. you don't know what a jetty is? No, no. Uh, like I guess a, it's like a pontoon. Yeah, it's just like a little. It's like a little thing that like floats in the water on yeah. like a lake that right. you can like launch boats or like fish yeah. off. In this instance, my friend decided not to fish. Instead, <laughs> Instead he decided to. What's a PG word for it? You already said horizontal monster mash. Yeah, but anyway, there's like a. Well, you can say fuck. We've established oh, that. Oh yeah, 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 we can fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah so my, uh, this this young man and his date decided to fuck on this jetty, and then uh, upon finishing, the realized that there was like a university like across the street, so Ooh. there was like all these uni kids like cheering them on and oh, shit. Oh that's nice. yeah. Because because Sick. all the forethought of like. Uh, having sex on a jetty, it didn't cross his brain that like sound travels across water. Right. And also, also, it was fully lit up. So it water. wasn't even like the jetty was in the dark. Water. So his two options was to bring this girl to his room in his house where his family is, or to just have sex with her on a lit up jetty on a Friday night with a university across the river. And my man's chose number two. So do you know why I love this story? <laughs> why? Because if this was like in a bad teenage movie, it'd be like they were filming them and then they put them online and they were like hurling yeah. empty beer cans yeah. at them. But no. But no, they got cheered. They got cheered. That's great. I, so I assume that means he did a great job. Yeah, boy, so, your pops. Congrats, Robbo. No, it wasn't. It, was, it wasn't Robbo. It was Tim. Congrats, oh. Tim. Congrats, congrats Tim. Timo. Is it Timo? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Timo's fine. Okay. Call him whatever you want. Eh? Um, <laughs> okay. From Mason with uh, Maple Leaves in his name. So I assume he's Canadian. Raleigh Mason. Rollison Mason. Uh, Hello, Rollison. When will you guys go to war with TMBK, the Mighty Don't Kneel? Dude, that's actually a really good question. Mm. Oh, I'm glad he asked it. <clears throat> For me, when I was like cutting into the business, dudes like Shane Haste and Mikey Nichols, under the guise of TMBK, were over in Japan killing it in like pro wrestling Noah, and that was always like such a big inspiration for me as like a professional wrestler. Such a big like, you know what I mean, like a goal to aspire yeah. to. Yeah, it was so the for me, right? Like I was coming up years later than you, but even still, they were still in Noah, and they were fucking like taking the year, man. Like young goats. So. Uh, hopefully fucking sooner than later and hopefully uh, on a good st stage, you know, a good setting. Yeah. I think, uh, 
I think that's a match that I like really personally would would find to us would personally like genuinely like to do. Because it's like it, it felt like it couldn't happen for so long as well. It's right. one of those where it's like, oh like it's outside the realm of possibility so it's not even worth like putting thought into it happening. Yeah. But now like now it's six. very real possibility. Shane got fired, Jonah got fired, Mikey got fired, let's hey, go. Let's fucking go. Yeah. A lot <laughs> of the lightings. a lot of the recent wrestling news has been of course like a huge bummer for everyone. It's like mm. they put in difficult situations, mm. especially when it comes to visas and stuff. But also it's so exciting. Yeah, sure. everything that yeah. could happen in 2022 is absolutely exciting. Yeah, it's kind of wild. I think like through 2020 and even this year, you had like wrestling took like such a big dip because of COVID, because like we couldn't have crowds, because we couldn't do shows and stuff. And now it's like, it's really starting to like get back up there. And I think it's going to be very, very exciting. Hell I think, yeah. yeah. I think AEW is like a good like fucking landmark for like how exciting stuff can be done properly. Yes. And I think it's just going to keep rolling, man. I'm fucking hyped for it. Absolutely. Okay, fantastic. Speaking of exciting things, where can people keep up with your exciting lives? Um, at Dunkzilla Davis on Twitter and Instagram. At Kyle Fletch Pro on also Twitter and Instagram. That's pretty much it, eh? Any parting words of philosophy or advice before we go? Um, when life gives you lemonade, make lemons. Life will be all like, what? <laughs> Is that a no, it's a Phil Dunphy quote. Oh, gotcha. It's perfect. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Love you all.